we have Dr. Zakir Naik. And Dr. Zakir Naik, you know, he's uh, a scientist. Actually, I heard that he was a cowboy. Uh, but today he is not a cowboy, today he is a sun boy. Zakir Naik, he been asked by Indonesian person a question, a serious question. I'm for sure Zakir Naik have the answers. I mean, come on. You know that Zakir Naik, he can make it. I have a question about the Quran. Uh, Allah said in Surah al radu verse number two, Allah alladhi rafa'a samawati bi ghayri amalin tarawnaha Notice, he cannot read the Quran, he have to recite it, he have to sing it, because this is how they know the otherwise reading they cannot read. Okay, continue. Okay. Based on the verse that I just recite, my question is, does the sun revolve around the earth or vice versa? And if so, what is the proof? Thank you. And now the answer will come. Somebody in the chat saying, this guy is Malaysian, not Indonesian. My friend, I just gave him citizenship. Come on. I mean, for me, all they look the same. Does it make a difference, really? Indonesia, Malaysia, from there. I mean, what Malaysia is in the corner of your country. It's part of Indonesia. Hello. Anyway. So now, Zakir Naik, he will scratch his beard. You know, this is what old cowboy do. You know, he will scratch his beard and he will come with the answer. And the answer will be like, will, will, it's going to kill the cow. He will scratch his beard. You don't believe me. He will. He cannot answer the question without scratching the beard. It's like, you know, activating the special brain. Okay, Zakir Naik, give us the answer. The Buddha has many of us of the Quran from Surah Rad and Surah Ambiya, Surah Yasin. And Allah says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 31, that it is Allah who has created the night and the day. Washams over Kamar. Kulun fi falki yas bohun. Each one traveling in the orbit with its own motion. The Arabic word here used is yas bohun. The Arabic word yas bohun comes from the root word sabaha, mm -hmm. which means describe the motion of the moving body. Now, many people who don't understand Quran and Arabic language, they think that Allah is saying that Allah is saying that the sun is revolving around the earth. No way does the Quran say that the sun is revolving around the earth. The word earth is not there. Allah says, Allah di khalaqa layla wa nahara. It's Allah who has created the night and the day. Wa shamsa wal kamar, the sun and the moon. Kullun fi falaki yasbuhun. Each one traveling in their own orbits. Now people like Taslima Nasreen, <coughs> you may have heard of Taslima Nasreen? No, I did not hear about her, did you? Taslima Nasreen, how is, how is she doing? But what she did? Let us expose her. Somebody saying there is a video, somebody saying I'm lying in my book. My friend, all my books supposedly are going to Muslims is lie. What, what are you talking about? Go watch it, believe it. My book there, I have the reference. So Taslima Nasreen, do you know Taslima Nasreen? Do you know her? What she did, Zakir? Who wrote the book Lajjah? She is the younger sister of Salman, uh, Salman Rajdi. Okay, guys, you should buy the the, the book of uh, uh, Slima Nasreen, the sister of Salman Rajdi. How she is the sister of Salman Rajdi? Her name is Slima Nasreen. Her brother, his name is Salman Rajdi. Whatever. Okay. Coming from Bangladesh, so she says, "How can you believe 
in a book which says that the sun is revolving around the earth. How can you believe? The problem is she doesn't understand Quran. Ah, she does not understand the Quran. And I was wondering where this is happening and why it is happening. Man, finally, man, I was scared that this is from the Quran. Finally, now we can have party. Abdul, are you making fun of your prophet? Are you making fun of your prophet? This is exactly what's happening. Listen carefully again. Coming from Bangladesh. So she says, how can you believe in a book which says that the sun is revolving around the earth? How can you believe? The problem is she doesn't understand Quran. <coughs> she doesn't understand Arabic. She has not studied. Stop. Anyone who speak against Islam, he don't see, uh, speak Arabic. Supposed to he understand Arabic, the donkey. This is the same guy who said that the word whore is for for girls and, and like they are men and women. When the Quran say clearly, they will bleed because of they're losing their, their virginity. And supposedly he's the one who knew Arabic. <laughs> I think she don't know Arabic. <laughs> I know this is coming. Elijah is God with us. <laughs> you don't speak Hebrew, you don't speak Arabic. <laughs> This woman, she don't speak Arabic. And she doesn't understand the Quran. I am the Karbaid. I have a beard. Look at me. When I scratch my beard, right away the answer is coming. Have you ever seen somebody like us? We are the only one who scratch their beard and they come with the answer immediately. This bohoon comes from the... Hold on, hold on. Scratch it, scratch it. Scratch it, yeah. The Buddha's quote, many of us saw the Quran from Surah. I mean, do you see how he scratched it? I cannot do that. That this is like a kind of uh, you know like a activation thing. Like you know, you scratch it, and then look, he's scratching with, with with one finger. He don't use two fingers. If you use two fingers, you activate something else. You have to use only one finger if you are Zakirnay. So because she don't understand the Quran. Are you sure? Are you sure? And look how happy he is. I'm telling you, it's a party time. I cannot resist the camping fire party. Look at his face, man. He got her. You got her, man. I mean, how you can do that? You must be a person with a special forces. You know what? You are sponsored by Allah for sure. Nobody can do what you do. You are the only Scooby-Doo. Continue. No way does the Quran say that the sun is revolving around the other world. Did you see what he said? He is laughing at the Quran. If we prove that this is what the Quran is saying and this is what Muhammad is saying, that means this guy is making fun of Muhammad, making fun of Allah, making fun of the Quran. And then it is not him who is going to have a party, it's us. <laughs> Making fun of Allah, shame on you. How you make fun of Allah? How you make fun of Muhammad? I mean, how come Muslims they did not get angry from this guy? You see, when you defend Islam, it doesn't matter how much you lie. We will show you, be my witness. Muslim, Christians, Hindu, Buddhists, who don't know, even if you are, like coming from different galaxy, which is America. So, galaxy people, 
if we show you that Muhammad and the Quran make it clear that the earth is fixed and the sun is the one is going around the earth, what we should do? We will play what he said to make the question and the answer clear. And then we will go to the reference and everybody will die laughing. Which means describe the motion of the moving body. Now many people who don't understand Quran and Arabic language, they think that Allah is saying that Allah is saying that the sun is revolving around the earth. Only stupid people understand that. Let us go to your stupid prophet then. This is your prophet Abdul. Only stupid people, they think, they think, they think, they think, they think you're a prophet, you're a prophet, you idiot, you're a prophet, you're a prophet. Mr. Scooby-Doo, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, Muslims be my witness. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let us read. Once I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. The Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it goes, it goes, it goes. I'm prostrate underneath of Allah's throne, and that is Allah's statement. The sun runs into fixed course for a degree, and that is the degree of the Almighty. The all-knowing Allah. What Zakir Naik say? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this woman, she don't understand Arabic. <laughs> no way the Quran will say such a statement. No way, brother. No way. This woman, she is stupid. She doesn't know Arabic. She doesn't know English. She doesn't know how She doesn't know what she is talking about. Only stupid people will say such a thing. Allah and his prophet, they will never say that. Now the question is, do Muhammad, his prophet, know Arabic, understand the Quran, or Zakir Naik? Because one of them is the idiot. Let us go back and see what Zakir Naik said again. Let us go to him in the screen. <clears throat> so nobody will say he did not say, you know then, yeah, he did not say that, see if he, in and outside that CV. Yeah. Explain to us again, Zakir Naik. Slowly, slowly, you know. You are smart, we are not, you know. You are a doctor, at least, you know. Tell us what exactly happened in here. Make, it, make the idea clear. The brothers quote many verses of the Quran from Surah Rad and Surah Ambiya, Surah Yasin. And Allah says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 31 that it is Allah who has created the night and the day. Each one traveling in the orbit with its own motion. The Arabic word here used is yes bahun. Yes bahun. The Arabic word yes bahun comes from the root word sabaha, mm -hmm. which means describe the motion of the moving body. Mm -hmm. Now many people who don't understand Quran and Arabic language, they, they think that Allah is saying that Allah is saying that the sun is revolving around the earth. Huh? No way does the Quran say that the sun is revolving around the earth. The word earth is not there. Not there. It's not there. Allah says, Allah the khalaqa layla wa nahara. It's Allah who has created the night and the day. Wa shamsa wal qamar. The sun and the moon. Kullun fi falaki yasbahoon. Each one traveling in their own orbits. Now people like Taslima Nasreen. You may have heard of Taslima Nasreen. Is it, did you hear what he said? The verse he quoted, he said, Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. Each one of them, they swim. Each one of them what? He mentioned four things. Here again, what is the four things he mentioned? He got himself busted by himself, the idiot. In the own orbits, now people like Taslima Nasir, 
والشمس والقمر الله سيد الذي خلق الليل والنهار إذ الله وسكت ذا نهر ذا ذا والشمس والقمر ذا سن ذا مون كل في فلك يسبهون each one traveling in their own orbits now people like Taslim and Nasreen did you notice what the mistake he just said the Quran is stupid again he said the sun the day the night and uh, uh, the, uh, the sun the, uh, the moon the day and the night each is a swimming so the sun is an object the moon is an object the day is an object and the night is an object <laughs> he is the one who said each one of them and actually this is exactly what it says in Ibn Kathir each one of them is a swimming the day the night the sun here we go they float each in an orbit means the night the day the sun the moon all of them are floating i don't know how clear the text is let me zoom in do you see it he is the one who mentioned it each one of them floating so what the quran teach that the day when the day come the day is an object it's a created as an object when the day come the day the night which is another object it goes because this is like they are swimming they are in in in, in, in total movement and the sun and the and the and the, uh, uh, and the moon they are moving too and this is how muhammad explained the 24 hours around us how the moon look what is the object we see in this verse the day the night the moon and the sun those things happen to us every 24 hours he said the earth is not mentioned so stupid why who mentioned the earth and then he said this is the decree of allah now we showed you the hadith where the hadith make it clear for this verse who understand the quran better zuzu or mumu which means muhammad who understand the Quran better? Muhammad himself, he says, and the sun runs into a fixed course. What is that? He explained it. He said, I was with the Prophet in the mosque, in the time of the sunset. Muhammad is asking, do you know where the sun goes? The sun is going. Do you see it? Do you know where the sun where the sunset actually he is this is is going to tell us even the location and then he said it goes and prostrate i replied i know he said allah and uh, is a prophet no best because muslims are mushrikeen they associate the name of allah with the name of their god and they associate the knowledge of allah with the knowledge of their god with, with their muhammad uh, which is their god because the second you associate a knowledge of a man with the knowledge of god you are a mushrik you are a kafir you are an infidel Muslims are kuffar, they are mushrikeen, black stone kissers, which is lovely. Mwah. Kiss to the black stone. When I kiss it, I cry. When I kiss it, I cry. I say to my sin goodbye, because the prophet said so. The second you touch it, your sin is forgiven. How touching. So when those people lie, their lies is a clear sign of victory for us. Because if they are not ashamed of their prophet teaching, if they are not ashamed of the stupid Quran, they will not lie in the answer. They will say, yes, it says that. You like it or not? Do you like it or not? This is how a believer he say. But they are not believers. They are deceivers. Read carefully. And again, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. We, saw, we showed you Sahih Bukhari. Now we will show you Sahih Muslim. Muhammad was with his companion, he said. Do you know where the sun goes? The, reply, uh, the companion replied, all of them, Allah and the Apostle knows best. All of them agreed that like, Allah and the Apostle knows best. Hey, Muhammad, tell us, you are the one who knows best because you are the one who has the knowledge of Allah. Okay? 
Tell us, okay, we are sitting here. Imagine this, that at that time, Muhammad was Zakir Naik on the stage. And Muhammad, he got excited when people, they say to him, Allah and his apostle know best, he love it. You know, there's many people like that. Like, like, I know best, yeah? <laughs> and me and Allah, yeah, party. and forget about the rest Yahoo! so Muhammad gets so excited he they told him he they just told him they give him a degree you know best Allah and you know best it's you and Allah the same you are Allah actually and then look the between two brackets the holy prophet what make him holy this man even the Quran says he's a sinner even the Quran says Allah said may Allah forgive your sin for the one in the to come and the one in the past holy eh. I mean, maybe it's coming from holes in the narrative. The Holy Prophet observed verily, verily, sorry, the sun glitz till it reach its resting place under the throne, then falls prostrate and remain there until it's asked to rise up and go to place where whence you come. Mm -hmm. But Zakir Naik, he said, no way Allah will say that. Zakir, Zakur, no way Allah will say such a thing. Are you making fun of Allah and his prophet? Shame on you. You may have heard of the Sima Nasri, who wrote the book Lajja. She is the younger sister of Salman, uh, Salman Rajdi, hmm. coming from Bangladesh. So she says, how can you believe in a book which says that the sun is revolving around the earth? How can you believe? I want you, if you are going to do anything for this video, to cut this part. Those who will copy this video, do a little bit work. You know, I have no time, as you know. You know, I have 99 wives, 9,000 children, and we are going to do jihad. You know, I am the same as a prophet in Islam who had sex with 99 wives. So in the morning, he will have 99 mujahid. I mean, how can you believe in the stories of Muhammad? Allah knows best. That a guy when to sleep with 99 women in one night, even me, I cannot do it. I mean, yes, I'm a cowboy. And I drink cow milk. And I eat cow cheese. And I ride horses. Yet I cannot have sex with 99 women. Only a Muslim prophet can do that. We have to admit it. And now Zakir Naik, he said to you, do you remember? Do you remember that woman who made a book, the is from Bangladesh? Tell us about that woman, what she said. So if you do editing to this video, I want you to copy the part where it says, no way the Quran will say this. I repeat it many times. That the sun is revolving <coughs> around the earth. How can you believe? The problem is she doesn't understand Quran. She doesn't understand Arabic. She has not studied. And then she wants to comment. No way does Allah say that the sun is revolving around I love this part. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way the Quran will say that. There's no way. No way. No boy. La la lule. My friend, you are the best. I mean, who can spank Muhammad better than someone who follow Muhammad? No way the Quran will say that, that the sun going around the earth. No way the Quran will say the sun is going somewhere to explain the day and the night. No way. So what your prophet saying here? Verily, sorry, ver verily, yeah, verily. It, the sun, glid till it reach its resting place under the throne. And he explained what? Do you know? 
where the sun go? And for sure, we do not know. I mean, only Muhammad knew that. Muhammad at that time, he was the center of an organization from Pakistan called NASA. NASA, you know. Do you know where the sun goes? A question from scientist. His name is Dr. Vauci. I don't know why they are. This guy is very famous. This guy is an idiot. Every, every morning he said something different. Anyway, do you know where the sun goes? People don't know where the sun goes. You see, he did not say how the day and the night happened. He says where the sun goes. And then they replied, Allah and his apostle know best. And then he says, verily, it, the sun, glid, glids. What do glids mean? Keep going. Unbelievable. The sun do that every day. Yes, brother. Till it reach who? The sun. It's resting place. Resting in place. This is what the Quran is saying. The sun go and rest. This guy he said, No way the Quran will say that. Which means no way Muhammad is stupid to understand the Quran in such a way. He is saying anyone who understands the Quran that the sun is the one is going, he is a stupid. This is what he's saying. So it goes to the resting place under the throne. And then it falls prostrate and remain there. Did you see the word remain there? I mean, how clear we can make it. The sun remain there. The sun, who is there? The sun, where? Under the throne. Doing what? Remaining there. It's going to spend some time. And then until it is asked to rise up. Oof. And go to the place where whence you came. Ooh. But Zakar Naik, he says, no way. No way the Quran will say that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Do you think the Quran is stupid? And it goes back and continue emerging out from its rising place. And then it lit till it reaches its place to rest under the throne. This is a cycle. Every day she do that. She go under the throne. She wake up in the morning, she come back to us. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Could this make some coffee? No way the Quran will say that this man is making fun of Muhammad. And this is the reference in the front of your eyes, if you are a Muslim. This is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim, and we show you Sahih Bukhari. And actually, there is a sister. Her name is Fifi something, I forgot her name. She confirmed that this hadith is true. Narrated by Abu Dhar. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at sunset time. The Prophet said, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, and it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnain's perception. It's conflicts, it's conflicts, the sun going under the throne, and yes, yes, this is correct hadith. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear, and it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality. It is a reality. The sun goes every day. Yes, he says reality, brother. And no way, <laughs> no way. And here you will see the double standard. Every Muslim scholar, the men who they are speaking to who, when they speak to the Muslims, between each other, they agree, the sun goes. And this guy, he just agreed, he's stupid. He just gets his profit busted. But look, this is a sheikh from Pakistan. This is a sheikh from Pakistan. And look here how, how they color their beard because Muhammad, he used to color his beard, which is very, very sick. I mean, this is disgusting. I mean, why you want to color your beard in such a color? It's not just only red. They like Muhammad, he liked to be a redneck. So look, they are asking him the question about the same thing. 
here the answer I think it's in Urdu I'm not sure this is I'm not what language but uh, I think they are from Pakistan listen to the question the, the children are asking him about the season how the season happened and the teachers they told them that uh, you know I mean that how the day and the, uh, the night happened that the earth is span uh, and uh, go around itself and there is a, a seasonal how the season happened and the sheikh now he will explain to them that they are wrong listen carefully <laughs> the sun, brother, is a stationary. It is a stationary, okay? The earth, he is correcting the student. The, the school, they are teaching you stupid things. But Zakir Naik, he says, no way the Quran will say that. Why each one of them, he give us different answer? Because there is answer meant for public, for non-Muslims. And there is answers, which means for propaganda. And there is Muslims, there is answers for their children. Yes, this is what the Quran is saying. The earth is a stationary. Science is not correct, brother. Forget about science. That's my beard. The true theory is in the one in the Quran and the Hadith. At least there is a Muslim who is honest about his religion. The truth is, the only true theory is in the, the one in the Quran and the Hadith. Read it. I didn't understand the language. This is the Muslim translation. See, in the Sunnah, which means in the Hadith and the Quran, proving that the earth is a stationary. The earth is a stationary. How many of you speak the language here? By the way, I speak all languages, but sometimes I forget them, what I can do. I am the same as Muhammad, I forgot Quran. I receive from Allah seven languages. Yeah, seven languages? Yeah, sometimes seven, seven sometimes seven hundred. It depends in the scenario. So, the sun, the brother, the earth is a stationary. And this is what is in the Sunnah, and this is what is in the Quran. So why we have Muslims who say something and Muslim they say something else? We get you Fifi agreeing. This is what the Prophet say. The sun goes. We get you this guy Mimi. He's saying uh, yes. The Prophet he said that the sun, the earth is stationary and the sun is going around it. But we get Zuzu, Zakir Naik or Zizi saying, hey, brother Tata. First of all, there is no way Allah will say that the Quran. First of all, you don't understand Arabic. Zakir Naik, I speak Arabic. Even we showed you Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir speak Arabic. What about Al Jalalain? What about Al Qurtubi? What about Al Tabari? What about this guy in the screen who have a beard of uh, what is that? What is that? There is a sun in the screen. It looked like in his beard. <laughs> मूव नहीं करती साकिन को एक अच्छा सा वर्ड इंग्लिश का होता होगा साकिन का स्टैटिक स्टैटिक जब अर्थ स्टैटिक पोजीशन में है मैं या मैं ये मूव नहीं करती इट इज अ मूव और साइंस कहती है कि जमीन मूव करती है आला हजरत हमारे इमाम अहले सुन्नत ने कुरान से साबित किया है कुरान से साबित से आई गॉट वन वर्ड इन अरबिक कुरान से साबित which means it's fixed. That's it. Quran says that. But Zakir Naik says, no way Allah in the Quran will say that. Do you see how we laugh at the stupidity and the lies? Now listen to this. As long as Zakir Naik, he agreed that there's no way Allah will say such a thing in the Quran, that means he agreed that this is very stupid.
correct? The second you say there's no way he will say that, read, let, 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 me, let me hear it again. Listen carefully. So nobody will say, oh, he did not say that. Muhammad is clearly, sorry, Zakir, is making fun of Allah, making fun of the Quran, making fun of Muhammad. With no question about that. He's ashamed of them. He's hiding their words and the meaning of the words, hiding what Muhammad explained, because Muhammad's explanation is stupid. And he don't, he don't want Muhammad to be in the stage no more. He is going to explain to you Islam. Muhammad's explanation is a lie. Muhammad is a liar. Muhammad is a fraud. Zakir Naik is going to give you the true answer about what Allah meant. For Muhammad do not know what he's talking about. For he is not really the prophet of Allah. It is Zakir Naik and the proof is his beard. That Allah has created the night and the day. وَشَمْثَ وَالْقَمَرِ each one traveling in the orbit with its own motion. The Arabic word here used is yes bohun. The Arabic word yes bohun comes from the root word sabaha, which means describe the motion of the moving body. Now many people who don't understand. He just said that describe the moving of the motion body and he mentioned the day, the night, the sun, the moon. Are they body? Is the day is a body? <laughs> Is the night is a body. <laughs> and we showed you the interpretation from Ibn Kathir. Remember, for those who have a weak memory, how many of you have weak memory? I think most of you men, you have weak memory, especially when it's your wife's birthday, right? Like, you don't want to buy her a gift, like, oh, it's your birthday, really? Oh, in the future, you know, honey, I forgot, you know, okay, forgive me, it's okay, my credit card is bankrupt. So, each of them, they float, means the night, the day, the sun, the moon, and all of them floating, i.e., i.e., may Allah, i.e., you. He just answered himself. Continue, Zaka, Zuzu. All right. Understand Quran and Arabic language, they think that Allah is saying that Allah is saying that. The, now, many people who don't understand Quran and Arabic language, they think that Allah is saying that Allah is saying that the sun is revolving around the earth. No way does the Quran <laughs> say that the sun is revolving no around way. the earth. The word earth is not there. Allah says, Allah the Khalaqal Layla wa Nahara. It's Allah who has created the night and the day. Wa Shamsa wa Kamar, the sun and the moon. Kullun fi falki yasbohun. Each one traveling in their own orbits. Now, people like Taslima Nasreen, you may have heard of Taslima Nasreen? I heard it, I heard it. Who wrote the book Lajja? It's, it's the brother, She's I heard the younger sister of Salman, uh, Salman Rajdi, coming from Bangladesh. And look, look at the Muslims are listening to him like, wait, they are waiting for like, look at this guy here. This guy, he will see himself after 20 years, after watching my video, he will say to himself, Ah, what? Look, this guy, he's covering his face, his mouth, like, what the heck this guy is talking about? The other guy here is really, this is really messed up. The guy here is biting his lips. Man, I don't want to open my mouth. This kid here, he is not even looking at Zachary Naik. There is somebody have a new iPhone in his hand. This old man here, he is looking at Zakir Naik saying, how in the world do we came here? And not to forget, not to forget that every one of them, his head in different direction. Not even one of them, his head in one, look at them. I mean, the guy is in the stage. Every face is looking in different direction. Look at this guy. 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 I mean, every single one of them, his face in different direction. Why? Nobody listen. You can lie. They knew that he is going to say whatever good about Muhammad, about Islam, and we are, you know, we know the story. Nobody is listening to the lies. Nobody is going to question him. Are you insulting the prophet? Are you saying the prophet is a stupid? Because this is exactly what is happening. This is exactly what's happening. This guy is making fun of Muhammad. 
He's making fun of Allah, saying, no way Allah will say that. Salman Rajdi, coming from Bangladesh. So she says, how can you believe in a book which says that the sun is revolving around the earth? How can you believe? The problem is she doesn't understand Quran. She doesn't understand Arabic. She has not studied. And then she wants to comment. No. You cannot comment, but can Muhammad comment? Do Muhammad understand Arabic? Do Muhammad understand the Quran? Will Muhammad saying what she is saying, you donkey? Sorry, I cannot call you donkey. It's against the rules of YouTube. YouTube, they send me an alarm, says I can use the word the mule when I speak about Zach and Nag. Because like donkey is lower rank, you know, Zach and Nag is higher. Brother and sister, they had no way to grow on with this. And the prophet would never say that. But because he doesn't speak Arabic, and you know the story. Your prophet says that, you idiot. Making fun of Muhammad, shame on you. No way does Allah say that the sun is revolving around the earth. The Arabic word yes, bohun describes the motion of a moving body. If I use this word sabah for a person on the floor, it will not mean he is rolling, it will mean he's running or he's walking. There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again, then then da 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 I'm really I'm really ashamed of Muhammad to be a prophet of my religion, brother. So we have to change what Muhammad said in order to make it look nicer, not stupid. No way, no way, Al Quran will say that. No way. If I use this Arabic word for a person in the water, it will not mean that he is floating, it will mean he's swimming. Similarly, when Allah uses it for a celestial body, like sun on the moon, it doesn't mean it is flying, it means it is rotating about its own axis. Mm -hmm. Look, 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 suddenly it's about rotating around its own axis. What is that? This is what the Quran said. Okay, okay, I will go back to Muhammad. Brother, it doesn't mean it is moving. It means it's rotating around its own axis, brother. Let us read again, Muhammad. I mean, how many times I need to read this? How many times I need to read this? And you know, because it's so beautiful, I cannot resist the temptation to sing it. Listen, <clears throat> I'm just making a new Quran. And excuse my voice is not good because I was drinking too much coffee. Do you know? Like do do you know? Do you know? And then if you want to imagine how the Muslim face is like when the prophet he says, Do you know? I will show you. Here we go. You look at this video and you will see exactly how their face is like. Do you know? Do you know? Where the sun go? Look at the faces, man. Like what? Look, this guy is looking up. Like what? Where the sun goes? Look at that guy. His face like is going in chaos. This old man is biting his lips. The one behind is touching his cheek, turning his face away. I don't want to talk. I even think about it. Do you know where the sun go? For sure, the Muslims, they were not there. They say, we know. If you say they know, you, they will kill you, will kill you. Do you know? You know? Shoot him. Shoot him. Did he say, no, only me, I know. Do you know where the sun go? They replied, Allah and Apostle knows best. He, the Holy Prophet, observed verily, saying, The sun goes till it reaches resting place. And the throw and the Muslims like wow and Muhammad looking at their faces oh yes it's me I say things nobody say no way the Quran will say such a stupid thing no way Muhammad will say. but he did then it falls but this guy he said to us it doesn't say that the sun is going it's that it's rotating around its own axis axis May Allah access you. Then it falls, put straight and remain until it's asked to raise up and go to the place. Go, raise up. I mean, all those are going around its own axis. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is explaining where the sun goes. 
Who is going? The sun. Who is moving? The sun. Who is failing? The sun. Who is going to the resting place? The sun. But Zachanak saying, no, no way. No way. The prophet will say, I don't know what to say. And then Muhammad, he continued in the story, and he explained to you that the sun will keep doing this every day. Every day. Read, 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 read. Uh, I cannot read. Read. I will squeeze you. Read. I cannot read. I'm Zabriel. I'm telling you, read, you idiot. So, and then, uh, and it goes back. I mean, it's clear that the sun is not moving. I mean, Muhammad saying, once you come, go back where you, once you come. Allah, he said to the sun, go back where you come from. Obviously, the sun is not moving from place to place. No. This is going around its own axis. It, obviously. Now, I don't know how many of you is going to convert to Islam after seeing this video. But if I am you, I will convert to Islam. First of all. You know, did you read the, 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 the new scientist... Uh, study about cell phone how they are you know destroying your life and those gadget in the heaven of allah brother there is no cell phone there's only two things food and boom boom and muslims will not talk in the heaven anyone know why muslim in the heaven they will not take off their clothes when they have boom boom so they will be wearing jalabiya and in order to have sex, they have to bite the edge of their jalabiya, the dress, in their mouth. So you enter to Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik is busy. You, you know, I call him Christian Prince. is going like, I'm going to enter him. For the fool, I don't know got me. And Zach and Naik having sex. He cannot even talk. The best place about Islam is the Muslims will, one day they will stop talking, saying lies to us in the heaven. Because all of them, they are holding, biting their dress in their mouth. Oh boy. This is the hadith. Let me post it for you. I don't know if the admin posted it for you already. So the Muslim will not say to you, this is not true. This is Sahih. Sahih Muslim. This is, I mean, look how many of them. Look how many, look how many. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari. Explain exactly the same verse this coward he's speaking about. And he is making fun of his prophet that the verse will never say such a thing because this is stupid. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. What is next? Sahih al-Bukhari is wrong. The prophet is wrong. And they are lying. It's not Zakarnaik line, it is the Prophet line. It is not Zakarnaik line, it is Allah line. It's not Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. I mean, how clear it is. Muhammad saying it goes, it goes, the sun goes. Explaining the sunset, how clear we can make it more than this. Still, Brother Sattar, you don't know Arabic. My friend, I am an Arab. <laughs> Your Arabic is funny. <laughs> read for me this part. <laughs> Christian Prince, read for other Durat. Christian Prince, do not know how to read Arabic. Uh -huh. I do not know how to read Arabic, really. Okay, let me practice a little bit. Sallallahu uh, alayhi. Let me let me read it as Zach and Nag. Brother and sister, I want to teach you today how to speak Arabic. Zakir, I did not get that word. What is that? Hmm. I need your help. Can you help me to video and clarify translation? My friend, I mean, I became a translator now. Who okay. cares? We are giving you what you need. 
additional to all what I have, I'm going to translate for you a video. Anyway, so as you see here, those people, because they are ashamed of their cult, ashamed of their prophet, they change the mean of the Quran and the mean of the Hadith and change even the explanation of Muhammad. They don't want to talk about it. They are making fun of their prophet, saying that he is a stupid, literally. There is no way the prophet will say such a thing. This is a stupid. But as you see, anyone who is, it doesn't matter how much you speak in English or, or Arabic. I mean, it's so clear. The one is going is the son. The one resting under the throne is the son. The one will come back is the son. Nowhere here the earth is mentioned, so the earth is not moving. He is explaining the movement of the sun. He is the one who asks, do you know where the sun goes? He did not say the sun goes nowhere. And then he is the one who says the sun glitz till it reached this, its resting place. During the sunset time. And then he is the one who said, and the sun goes back. And the sun will, arrive, will ask to be raised again and go to the place whence you come or you came. I mean, how clear it is. How clear we can make it. Don't forget to download the video. I'm not going to keep it longer than this. So you guys can download it easier. Translate. And by the way, if the video is too long, I mean, you can shorten it. Because, you know, we are repeating the explanation. You can shorten it, you know. Get the cheese of it, let us say. Cheese, you know. And uh, for sure, Dr. Zach and Naik, you challenge me. I cannot take your challenge. You are strong. If you drink camel urine, if you drink camel urine and you prove it, I will accept your challenge. You make a video, you get camel urine from the private part of the camel, live on air. You drink it in front of us, I will accept your challenge to prove to me that you are a true Muslim. Otherwise, you are ashamed of your prophet. I debate only true believers, camel urine drinkers. Pepsi Cola drinkers, no. As simple as that. Remember what happened in Afghanistan. We start selling seven up to the Afghani Muslims there. Do you know what they accuse us? That we are the reason that Afghani Muslims, Taliban, they walk seven steps and they jump. That was the name. The, dr the drink does not do that. This is how the Muslim explain things. And here we go. I mean, the hate in front of them. We give them seven up. They say, oh, this is seven steps and jump. The hadith say clearly, your prophet saying, the sun goes, the sun come back, the sun prostrate, the sun rest under the throne. And then Allah ordered the sun to go back where it's coming from. It doesn't say that. It's in front of you. It doesn't say that. This is seven up. This is going around its axis. What? Then a guy will say to us, I challenge you. I wonder how, I wonder why. <sighs> All right, I think we are done for now. I might go back live on air later, maybe afternoon, if you'd like to join us. Already it's afternoon, almost. So, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we are very thankful for having someone like Zachary Naik, who is ashamed of his prophet, and he tried to avoid showing what his prophet saying, because obviously what his prophet saying is very, very stupid. It's a good sign. It's a good sign, my friend. When a person, he deny his belief, it's a good sign. He's ashamed of it. Do we agree? As an example, if an atheist, he came to me and he said, <laughs> the Bible says Jesus is son of a virgin. Science doesn't say that. Which one I will take? I will say, I agree with science. Or I will say, this is what we believe. Why we need to lie? When you lie about your belief, that is the moment you are ashamed of it. A believer, no matter what is there, he will lie about his belief. And you notice that every single Muslim, when he explains Islam to us, he lie about his belief. Very great sign, they are ashamed of it, and they knew it is a fraud. A true believer 
will never lie about what he believes. You can lie about, I mean, maybe you can lie about other things. The Quran says, beat your women. No, the Quran doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. The Quran says the sun set in murky water. No, the Quran doesn't say that. The Prophet says so. Even the Prophet says so. The sun set in murky water. No, the Prophet. Or oh, this hadith, the guy who wrote the hadith, uh, he had a misunderstanding. What? He had mis what? He had misunderstanding, brother. Are you sure? Yes, brother, he have a misunderstanding. But how you can have Mr. Understanding? And Mr. How you can have such a thing? Let us see the Mr. Understanding. Just one more before we go. A coincidence? Narrated by Abu Dhar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Radwan's hadith is a shortened form. The full version can be found in Musad al-Bazzar. The report says that the sun goes into a muddy spring and then prostrates under the throne of Allah. Soon, I'll explain why the first part of the hadith, which speaks of a muddy spring, is a false attribution to the Prophet, peace be upon him. <laughs> this hadith can... But this is what the Quran is saying. How they can be, I mean, if it's in total agreement with the Quran, how this is, can be a false attribution to the Prophet? And how he explained, he said later, oh, this is, uh, he have the narrate, the one who narrated the hadith, he have a, a, a wrong understanding. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. And then he will say to you, the one who report the hadith is five against one. Which one we win? <laughs> the one who win is the one giving us the complete story according to the Quran. From Al-Hakam bin Utaybah from Ibrahim. This is the one that speaks of the sun setting in the murky spring. Al-Hakam is outnumbered five to one. And it's outnumbered five to one. But my friend, the five, they did not say anything that is wrong. It's the same report. At the same time, he is the only one, he is exactly reciting what is in the Quran. And look now what he will say, this idiot. And therefore, this wording is rejected as an... Rejected by who? By him, by them. Rejected, you know. Addition. It should be noted that I do not personally believe that this is a misattribution to Ibrahim from Al-Hakam. Mm, Rather, it's more likely that this is from his student Sufyan, who has been criticized by some scholars of hadith. Uh -huh. Also, none of the students of Al-Hakam narrated this hadith from him. Guys, none of the students narrated the hadith. So how the hadith became in the book? If the hadith is stopped there. <laughs> Okay, Christian Prince is born in the year, uh, uh, let us say, uh, 800. And after the Christian Prince, nobody narrated this hadith. So how this hadith is arriving to us? If nobody narrated... Except Sufyan, which makes it likelier that this is a mistake from Sufyan. Now, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Ordvan may insist as much as he likes that the addition of Sufyan is acceptable. But seriously, who cares what Udvan thinks? Who, who's who care? And then he agree that the hadith about the sunset is the true hadith, this one. So supposedly he fix it in one place and he made it blind in the other place. He agreed, he said, yes, this is the correct hadith. The sun goes every day. This hadith, he agreed with it. It's sunset time. The Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Again, you shouldn't have said that. He said, it goes and prostrates underneath Allah's throne. First of all, yes, this is the correct hadith. Yes, first of all. Remember like how they say, first of all. What is that? First of all, yes. Okay, what he agree with? The sun set where? Under Allah throne. The sun goes where? Under Allah throne. It goes 
who is moving the sun so now this guy or this girl she decided that this is the correct hadith it's approved by her majesty but this hadith is no different and no better than the other one it's confirmed that your prophet is a fraud the sun goes nowhere and your prophet is a fraud So all those videos Muslims they make about science and the Quran is a fraud. It is a fraud. For this religion is a fraud. And look, I don't know why the one who made the video did not uh, post the whole hadith. Because you should not cut the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith. In the same hadith, the same number, look in the screen, it shows you the number of the hadith. Let me show you. You see it? Book number 60, hadith number 326. My advice for people who make videos, don't cut the hadith because the cheese is at the end. When you cut it, you lose a lot of the cheese. So here when the when the when the story coming. It says it clearly that this is explanation and the sun runs into a fixed course for term degreed and that is the degree of almighty all-knowing chapter 36 verse number 38 why you cut that why you cut it off let everybody see and the same verse is what Zachary Naik was explaining saying no way that the Quran says the sun is going anywhere. And we heard this Fifi, she agree that yes, the sun goes. This is the correct hadith. The reason you see Muslims, they have different answers because they are very much confused and they are very much stupid to accept reality. That reality is Muhammad is telling us science. And here, even this guy, this 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 uh, this girl, she said, "Yes, the prophet refuted you. Put that in your skull. This is reality." It is the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, as we can see, and it clearly conflicts with the verse that speaks of Dhul Qarnain's perception. It is not under the throne of Allah, and the throne of Allah is in the top of the water. You are dumb like your prophet. Isn't it? Your prophet made it clear that the throne of Allah is above the water. So when the sun goes under the throne of Allah, it's going to be where? In the water. Why? Because the throne is above the water. <laughs> this is your hadith. Where is the sun located? Under the throne. Where is the throne? Over the water. Is that a weak hadith? No. Is Sahih al-Bukhari a weak? No. All of this. The throne of Allah is above the water. Where the sun goes? Under the throne. Where is, what is under the throne? The water. So when the Quran says, and he found the sun sitting in muddy water, or murky water, or a spring of uh, water, is in total agreement with all the accurate, authentic hadith. All of them, they confirm that. And then he say the following. The words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are clear. Clear. And it is quite obvious that he's speaking of a reality. It's a reality. And not a perception. Not perception. It's reality. The sun goes under the throne of Allah. Every day. It's a reality, brother. Zakir and Haik say, no. No way. No way the Prophet will say that. No way the Quran will say that, brothers and sisters. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. No way. No way Allah is so stupid to say such a thing. Each one traveling in their own orbits. Now people like Taslim and Nasreen. You may have heard of Taslim and Nasreen. Who wrote the book Lajja. She is the younger sister of Salman, uh, Salman Rajdi. Coming from Bangladesh. So she says, how can you believe in a book which says that the sun is revolving around the earth? How can you believe? The problem is she doesn't understand Quran. 
He doesn't understand Arabic. She has not studied. And then she wants to comment. No way does Allah say that the sun is revolving around the earth. The Arabic word yes both. No way Allah will say that. Remember this and with this we say thank you. Edit the video, make it shorter if you want, do as you wish. Translate your language, share it with your friends and show everybody how Muslims are ashamed of their cult. And Muhammad obviously is a fraud. And Zakir Naik is a fraud. There's no way that Zakir Naik do not know about this hadith. There's no way that Zakir Naik he never heard it. There's no way that Zakir Naik do not know that this is the true meaning. There's only one way. That when you follow a fraud the prophet, you do fraud to defend him. That is the only way for a fraud religion. Garbage in, garbage out. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And enter we'll see you soon again. Don't forget to download our previous videos, please, and share them with your friends.